Hey folks, Bob Warfield here with CNC Cookbook. I'd like to give you a quick introduction to GWizard Calculator. First question, what is GWizard Calculator and what can it do for you? GWizard Calculator is all about giving you fast, easy, and reliable feeds and speeds for your CNC work. It does more than that, but that is the main reason why people come to GWizard Calculator. The problem most people in CNC face is traditional feeds and speeds involve too much guesswork. You're trying to gauge how fast you can go by feel. You're constantly dealing with new materials and the feeds and speeds can change pretty radically. There are so many different kinds of tooling and there seems to always be something new showing up. If you're involved with things like micro milling, high speed machining, uh, and things like this, it's a whole new ball game. And at the same time, if you're doing small runs or expensive parts, you've got to be right the first time. You don't have time to sort of break a lot of tooling and scrap a lot of parts to get things dialed in. Another question for shops and their overall profitability is how to get everybody in the shop using the same feeds and speeds rather than everybody just sort of doing their own thing, which is not efficient. Another issue for shops is that calculating feeds and speeds can be very time consuming. Uh, to do it right, the calculations are quite complex. GWizard considers over 50 different variables each time. Going through the machinist handbook or trying to use a manufacturer's tooling catalog, first of all, you don't consider anywhere near that many variables, uh, so you're not going to get as good of an answer. Uh, but even with that simpler approach, it's just no picnic. Every part you do needs feeds and speeds. Every quote you do needs feeds and speeds. So it's worth finding a good way to deal with it. And that's what GWizard Calculator is. Fast, easy, and reliable feeds and speeds. Here's how it works. First thing, let's download GWizard Calculator. If you want to download it, the thing to do is you go to the Help menu that's at the top of any uh, CNC Cookbook web page. Go to our Help page. And what you'll find is all the different resources available to help you. Right up here near the top are the download links for all of our products. And so I can go to the download page uh, for GWizard Calculator, click the download link based on what type of computer you're using. We support both PCs and Macs. And you'll get it downloaded. And once it's downloaded, go ahead, open it up, uh, run the download. And what that's going to do is install GWizard uh, on your computer. Um, you'll get that install and uh, it, it wants to go ahead and put some icons on your desktop, uh, do those kinds of things, go ahead and say yes, uh, get the whole thing set up, okay, doesn't take very long, it'll come up, and here we go, now we've got GWizard Calculator installed. Uh, now the first thing you want to do is go ahead and log in with your email, I'm already logged in here, so just click new login, and type in the email that you use to register or subscribe to GWizard Calculator and you'll be logged in and ready to go. Uh, if you're not logged in, it's just going to keep kicking you back over to the basic calculator page. It won't let you access the feeds and speeds. So be sure you've logged in and you don't have a typo. Okay, so here we are. We're ready to do some feeds and speeds. Let me show you just how easy it is. First thing is you want to select a machine that's similar to your own. Uh, you can see in the setup videos that we'll point you to in a minute how to go ahead and configure it for your machine if it's not already here. For the time being, just to get started, I'm just going to use a generic uh, vertical machining center. Uh, pick out a material. There's a whole ton of materials available to you. Titanium, uh, steel, you know, here's good old 6061 aluminum. It's all there for you. Uh, pick out a tool. Uh, again, a tremendous variety of different tools. We support more different tool types. Uh, than any other feeds and speeds calculator that's available. I'm just going to take a carbide end mill. Uh, give us your tools diameter. Uh, let's say we got a, a quarter inch. Uh, you can pick it from a size menu if you prefer. How many flutes? We're in aluminum. I'm going to go with three flutes. Uh, and I'm basically, I'm ready to go here. So uh, I've got a cut depth. Let's go ahead and go down. Uh, oh, let's go one diameter. Uh, cut width, let's go, we're going to do a full slot here, and here are my feeds and speeds, 6,000 RPM, 
uh, feed rate of 25. Now I've got a red showing here. That means I've maxed out the uh, RPM limit of my machine. That's all it means. Uh, you know, if I had a machine that had a faster spindle, I could I could go faster with this cut. So there you have it. I've got my feeds and speeds together, and uh, I'm ready to do a cut. While we're here, let me show you a couple of other cool features that are available. Uh, so first of all, we have our tortoise hair slider. And the idea here is whether you want to get more conservative, maybe do a little lighter roughing pass, or whether you need to get to a finish or a fine finish pass, what this does is it varies uh, your feeds and speeds to either get to a better surface finish or a more conservative cut. So that's really convenient for a lot of people and yeah, many people like to start out a little bit conservative when they first start using G-Wizard and uh, just verify that everything's going to be okay for their machine and their setups. Okay, we've also got uh, a geometry menu here that lets you pick a lot of different geometries for your cutters, uh, whether that's a, a ball nose camphor, uh, whatever it is you got going on, that's available. Uh, that's how you select those different geometries. Um, we've got what we call our mini calculators or mini calcs. So you can do things like calculate uh, interpolated uh, holes or bosses, uh, fine tune those. You can calculate ramping, plunge milling, that kind of thing. A lot of different uses for the, uh, uh, the, the mini calcs. So there's a lot more going on here. I just wanted to give a really quick introduction to get you up and going. Uh, let's see where you can go to uh, if you'd like to get more help uh, with the product. And the answer is uh, just where we were before. You just go to the help menu here. Uh, one of the places I would start out so you can get to the documentation, the getting started areas. Uh, but I really like videos myself to learn quickly. So come down into GWizard Calculator uh, University. We've got videos on all kinds of different uh, areas. These are the basic videos. One of the first things you want to do is go into setup and uh, use that to help you uh, get things set up for your machine. Uh, there's a setup tab in calculator where you go and configure all the different information on your machine. Okay, So that's all there is. It's really easy to get much better feeds and speeds going in your shop using GWizard. Uh, and there's a lot of capabilities there that uh, will take you much further than this video shows. Uh, for example, the ability to help you calculate, calculate optimal cut depths and cut widths is there, which is also unique to this product. So, we thank you for watching. We hope you'll have fun checking out GWizard Calculator. And by all means, don't hesitate to ask questions or send us your suggestions if you have any. Thanks again.